There are two purposes for generating a CDA on a transaction. First is generating a document that can be sent to whoever is handling the closing. This document, also known as a Commission Disbursement Authorization, or CDA, instructs the closer on how to pay out commissions. The second purpose for completing the Generate CDA page is the commission numbers you enter there are used to compile commission reports. To generate a CDA, start within the transaction by clicking Generate CDA. Once on the Generate Commission Disbursement Authorization page, any information that is already available in the transaction that matches what is needed will auto-populate. If a contact has been added to the transaction with the role escrow, title, settlement, or attorney, that person's contact information will auto-populate into Step 1. Fill in the required information. Sale info, buyer's name, and sale price will also auto-populate assuming those were already filled out on the transaction. Enter any commission or referral commission. Click Calculate and Continue. The third step of generating a CDA is splitting the commission between your brokerage and agent and handling any additional fees. If there is a commission split set up for the agent, the commission splits field will auto-populate for brokerage and agent. Otherwise, fill in the commission fields manually. Enter any additional fees that should come out of the agent's commission. Click Calculate and Continue. The next page will present a breakdown of all the commission numbers entered. Verify the information and make sure everything is correct. Optionally, check the Co-op Brokerage Commission and Special Instructions box and fill out the fields below if the CDA should include how much to be paid to a cooperating brokerage. Any CDA instructions that were set up on your CDA template or CDA settings page for the selected office location will show up here. Revise or add any additional information to show up on the CDA. Click Generate CDA to complete the process. This generates the Commission Disbursement Authorization document, which is automatically added to the transaction. Just like any other document, it can be reviewed and emailed out of the transaction to whoever is handling the closing. Generating a CDA creates a new section in the transaction called Financial Info. Staff with access to the Commission module will be able to see the brokerage's share of the Commission while agents will only be able to see their own Commission numbers, as well as have the ability to download an Agent Commission Statement.